Hi, thanks for tuning in. This video is part of the Setting Up Your Wireless Network video series for EC Cloud. In this video, we're going to show you how to configure settings for Mac-based access control for wireless clients. So let's go to the Cloud Dashboard first. We would like to configure settings at the site level instead of the device level. So let's go to a site that we have created called Demo Site. There are two places for configuring the settings. The first one is in SSID configuration, and the second one is in hotspot configuration. Let's start with the first one. To go to the SSID configuration page, click on Configuration, Wi-Fi Access, and it's right under Wireless SSID. So click here to go to the configuration page of this SSID. There are two settings that you can configure on this page to control which wireless clients can connect to this SSID based on MAC address. And you can find them under security settings, which is the last section on this page. Radius MAC off is your first option. And your second option would be access control list. So the main difference between these two settings is where you want the database of the MAC addresses to be hosted. For Radius Mac Off, the database is hosted on your Radius server. And for Access Control List, the database is hosted in EC Cloud. So you can choose whichever works for you. We'll go over these settings now. Let's enable Radius Mac Off. Configure the setting if you intend to use your own Radius server for user authentication based on MAC address. So you can just enter information about your Radius server here. You can also set up a backup radio server if you like. Then you can also enable dynamic authorization, which allows you to send disconnect messages or change up authorization messages. So that's Radius Mac off. Now moving on to access control list. Let's enable this. So you can configure this setting if you don't have your own radio server and you also don't want to bother setting it up. You can select a policy here, and selecting allow all Macs on list lets you set up a whitelist, and selecting deny all Macs on list lets you set up a blacklist. And once you've selected a policy, you can start to add entries to the box below. These entries will be saved in EC Cloud, as we've mentioned earlier. So these are the two settings for Mac-based access control for wireless clients. Remember these settings are found in the SSID configuration under security settings. And more importantly, remember that these settings will determine who can or cannot connect to the SSID. So besides these two settings, for SSIDs in hotspot control mode, there is an additional setting that you can configure. We'll explain how this differs from the two settings that we've covered in a moment. So let's go to the hotspot configuration page. As you can see, there are different hotspot modes here that require some kind of authentication. So a client has been able to connect to an SSID in hotspot control mode, it will still have to be authenticated before they can access the network. And how that is done depends on the hotspot mode that you choose. But if you scroll down to the last section on this page, which is auth exceptions, you can see that there is an auth whitelist. So if you put the MAC address of a client on this list, after this client connects to the SSID, it will be granted network access right away transparently without the client doing anything. So if you wish to always grant network access to certain clients, you can make use of this whitelist. So here's a recap of what we have covered in this video. The first two settings are found in SSID configuration, and they determine who gets to connect to the network. Then the third setting is found in hotspot configuration, where the auth whitelist allows you to authenticate certain wireless clients transparently once they have connected to the network. So that's all to this video. Thanks for watching.
If you have any questions, please feel free to write to ecwifi at edge-core.com. We will be happy to answer your questions.